So how are you making out with your parental commitment? Your parental commitment. Came here with you today. I was reading, uh, reading up on parental commitment. And I got four really great, strong points that I wanted to bring you today. Um, now, these things can be taken to any relationship. Now, I'm going to give them to you as far as the elder care is concerned. Because, you know, I'm the big-hearted caregiver, and that's what we do. We give back to the older folk. But these commitments can be used in any relationship. So here we go. How you doing today? My name is Kion Church. I am the Delaware District Administrator of Reliable Aid, Inc. Um, just on here with you today to spread this big-hearted caregiver word. You know, I, I, I found a lot going on with this parental commitment and uh, found a lot of good information I wanted to share with you. Now, I'm going to keep it real with you. Commitment is commitment. And although we take care of older folk, you can use this anywhere in your life. So feel free to implement it anywhere you want to go. All right. Now, the first rule of commitment with these elder folk is leadership. Now, leadership supplies the appropriate guidelines to the guidance and, uh, you know, gives people a sense of security, structure, and stability. Now, when we talk about the older folk, they desperately, I'm not even going to say definitely, they desperately need security, structure, and stability. So, you as the adult child of the senior, you're going to be the rock. You are their rock. Because, you know, they kind of lose in steps. You know, once you get a little older, you need somebody to pick up the slack for you. And here you are. You're a good person. So I know you're going to take care of your parents. Um, the second part of your commitment I'm going to need you to learn is laughter. All right. Laughter adds joy, excitement, and adventure to a person's life. Now, I'm going to just say like this. If you 60 plus, it's all an adventure. You know what I'm saying? So... What I'm going to need you to do is keep it up. You know, laugh it up. You know, what we do is we bring smiles. I, always, I say it all the time. We are known to bring people smiles in other places, in, in their places, you know. So if you're with your parents, you know, big up to you. And what I'm going to need you to do is bring some smiles. Add a little love, you know, uh, smile as much as possible. Do what you got to do. All right. Um, let's talk about laughter. Laughter is the joy, excitement, and adventure. All right. We all need a little laughter. So that being said, I already went over through that one. The next one is learning. Third step. Learning develops and reinforces a person's wisdom, skills for a vital, uh, com contributing, self-sufficient life. So it's a lot of things once you get older you may have to relearn. You know, everybody was taught the basics as a child. As we get older, sometimes certain things fall off. So what I'm going to need you to do is, you know, be the pickup person with your parents and, 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 you know, teach them a few things, you know, how they can uh, survive in life, you know, how, uh, how, how they can better, you know, it's all about structure and how they can maintain it and, and move forward with their life. Now, uh, the last thing that I want to tell you is, is love. Everybody needs love. Uh, love gives you attention, encouragement, and acceptance. And, uh, a good open communication with you and your loved one could definitely cause uh, a lot of encouragement and acceptance by these older folk. Now, the acceptance and the, and the courage, we definitely don't want any older folk to uh, not have their dignity. Because when you get old, you want to uh, age gracefully. And, um, you know, somebody absolutely took care of you. So they want you in, in good faith to absolutely take care of them. So I just want to let you know, if you're on here with me now live, smash the wow face. I also want you to put in hashtag live. If you're watching me on a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. Now, we got a lot of good topics. Um, if you are excited that we can get the big-hearted caregiver word out to the world, I need you to smash that wow face for me. You know, put in the, hat, put in the comments uh, where you watching this from. You know, we got a lot of good things going on. I'm here to make sure you step up your uh, parental commitment. You know, and I'm going to tell you, a lot of people need some help. If you need some help, call me. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. I'm the big-hearted caregiver, and uh, we're not trying to leave no parents left behind. None of that. We take care of everybody that took care of us. I know you, you, uh, you're you the kind of person that takes care of people because you're just like me. And how do I know you're just like me? Because you're here with me every day. So I want to thank you for being you. You know, always remember to like and share, you know what I mean, the big-hearted caregiver's message. We need to put this message out to the world. Uh... For the people who actually need a little help taking care of their parents, you can contact me. You know, I got the good caregiver manual. 
we got going on gives you the best practices and the tips and, and the things that you need to go forth and be prosperous with your parents and make sure they having a good life in the last stages, maybe not the last stages, that might be a bad word, but in the elder stages of their life. So what I'm going to need you to do, like, share, tell everybody what we got going on, smash the wild face. If you're excited like Mr. KC, call me if you need me. 302-689-3240, 302-689-3240. Don't forget to keep up your parental commitment. Keep it at an all-time high, man. Take care of the people that took care of you. Don't leave nobody to the wayside. Thank you very much.